Hey, thanks for visiting us here at Dominant Technologies YouTube channel. This is Jeremiah Kendall, lead programmer for many of the automated calibration software here for PaperCal, for the custom ones, and other little software tools that we develop here. Today, I just wanted to showcase the Keithley 2400. This is a uh, source meter, which can pretty much act like a curve tracer. It can supply power, monitor the draw, and all those cool fancy things you want to, you know, you want to do for checking components. And it's got a wide variety of applications, and definitely a pleasure for programming and doing automated. Because who wants to uh, push buttons and record data manually, right? So that's my job to make other people's jobs a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and review the software right now and go over and clear things up for you. Maybe generate some interest. Maybe you could use this program. So let's go ahead and look. So this is the initial splash page after you have downloaded and installed the program. But first, before that, we're going to look at a couple files that are important. Now you can't just open up and run the program provided you have everything connected via the National Instruments USB to GPIB interface cable and it'll automatically detect everything. That's kind of a nice feature that our customers love. There's very little configuration, but if you had to, but most likely not for this program, but many others that use uh, legacy equipment with the HP brand on it, but if it has Agilent or Keysight, you won't probably have that issue. So we have this uh, file right here. Everything says zero right now. And most of our programs have uh, auto config enabled already. So unless, like I said, it has legacy devices. So uh, what happens is the auto config will go through the bus and see if any of these models are present. And if they are, they'll populate this address column and proceed to utilize everything on the bus that's required. So, and there's a brief description here. And if this is gonna be done for a station over and over again, you can disable auto config and it will speed up the process because it will take some time to detect all the devices on there. You can have 30 devices, so this will definitely speed it up if you want to disable it. Nibble sounds and uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Maybe not. Well, anyway, it, every time a connection message shows up, uh, a sound, an audible sound will be heard. So that's that. And you can disable it if, you know, if it's going to drive you nuts or not, but up to you. First one help. Nah, it's just a basic overview of the files and stuff, but we're going to go over that. So we're going to get save this exit. Next file here that we're going to open is test list. Uh, you may not have to mess with this or not. Uh, it's up to you. Like you say, you can just run the program right away. But it, let's say maybe your organization never uses the rear panel connections. You can go ahead and hit 1 to disable them all. And I think we'll do it in this case. We don't want to run this because, you know, for time's sake, we just want to demonstrate this program. So we'll go ahead and do that. And brief... And here in the standards required, of course, just the models required for each test. Now, if you don't have all these standards, uh, they will the program will automatically mark these tests done, which is one. One is done, right? So, so we're not real rigid here. You know, we want to make things smooth as possible. So, if you're missing something or it's on another station, you can run the program, and if it's done, it'll mark it a one, and then you can go ahead and take the laptop or wherever this program's on and move it to another station and rerun it and it'll, and it'll just uh, detect whatever was missing previously and run from there go from there so we'll go ahead and continue now we'll just go ahead and run the software and you know talk about maybe i don't have to maybe i don't have to mention much oh here we go so there you go. You already know that from the config file, if you're going to even open it. But if you don't, there you go. You get the 5522 calibrator. Either one works. or And then uh, a 3458A digital multimeter. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that because we don't have either of those. We're just going to run simulated. All right. 
So none of those were actually found. Like I said, it's all simulation. So we'll just go sim. Sim 2400. How about that? That's a good one. So that's the name of the file that's going to be created. And there you go. You have it. Uh, your audible tones. I enabled it or left it enabled. Pretty nice pictures. So had an artist uh, do most of those because I can't draw. I can code. My wife's the artist, not me. All right. So we have, uh, I, th I believe the last digit is randomly generated. No, it is. The last digit or so is randomly generated. So uh, if you have a failure, you're going to get a retry prompt right here. So it'll re retry the, it'll keep retrying. No, sorry. It'll retry this point, and if it gets a pass, it will continue. But if, if not, we hit no retry, and it will record the failure and keep going. Okay, so we got another failure. So what we can do if, let's say, you're running for 17.025, you want to record before and after data, you just hit no retries, and there you have it. It'll just keep going, recording failures, passes, until the next test where uh, it will prompt you a retry if it, has, if it fails the next test. There we go. Another failure. And I don't think we're going to get it to pass this time. But anyway, we'll just have no retries. Keep going. So this program's pretty quick. I believe it's maybe 12 to 15 minutes. If you do both uh, front and back, uh, it's going to run a little faster simulator, of course, because there's no, you know, there's no settling of the output of the calibrator or you know, the multimeter. Sorry, we're using the multimeter right now. Looks like it's going to do the current test. Yeah, these programs are highly customizable. Um, make it as fancy as you want or ugly as you want if you're on a tight budget we could do that too you know we try to support all varieties of customers we don't play that metrics game where we just shut out like a portion of the market so we'd love to support everybody especially if you're a, a new and upcoming lab or you're just getting into automation we'd love to support you we can ideally uh paper cow will probably be a good fit for you maybe you don't get too many 2400s and here's the calibrator setup. I believe this is just for resistance. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, maybe maybe you're a new lab. You're just getting automation. Uh, you could. There are softwares online too. This uh, this this one's already released online. You can download it. Uh, you get a time license, thirty days. I think we got a day on there too, ninety days. But anyway, uh, we sell the permanent versions as well. So. Like I said, we're trying to get everybody into automation. So, um, you know, we love all the customers, especially the small businesses. And there you go. It's done in three minutes and 10 seconds. So we'll go ahead and look at the data. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, it was already open. So, yeah, you'll usually see this program directory pop up in our data. right here sim 2400 there it is all right let's let's see what we got here yeah we got some failed test points and that's made obvious by the asterisk and the red red coloring right there yeah pretty bad man you might want to send this to us for repair <laughs> yeah we also have a repair department here so oh uh, yeah this is probably easily just you could do it yourself. If not, you could more than happy to take your money to adjust it for you. But anyway, uh, easy to adjust. Keith Lee is pretty nice with this uh, product. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they published all that in their service manual and it's publicly available. Anyway, I'm rambling. There you go. There's the data. If you if your customer requires data, this definitely saves a lot of time and headache trying to uh, push all those buttons and record it yourself. Uh, we did leave an uncertainty here, uncertainty.
columns here for our customers. A lot of times they just like to add this or delete it or just slap an insert uncertainty document on the back of the data sheet, however you guys want to do it. So highly customizable, you know, we designed the architecture. So um, everything's like compartmentalized and all that. Don't know how to say that word compartmentalized, com compartmentalized. Anyway, um, yeah. So what that means is it's really easy for us to make changes without affecting the whole platform or source code and all that. So, which is great, which you might hear you know, from my mother friendly competitors out there, you know, oh, I'd have to change the whole platform to get to do that. But you know, it is what it is. So if you want anything special done, doesn't have to be with test equipment. We could do other tools, software tools, anything you could think of. I think companies, you know, I think all, all most companies could use a programmer on their payroll or yeah, I personally, I'm not for hire, but not in the employee sense at least. So anyway, uh, hope that explains a lot and you, and you find this appealing. You know, maybe you want this one or a different program made for you. Just let us know at service at dominatetechnologies.com or visit our website for all our contact info. Thanks for watching and you know, your attention, however little or big it was. Thanks again. And until next time, peace out. God bless you guys. Take care.